The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways could come up with a voluntary scrapping policy very soon, possibly in the next one month. And it will be a mix of penalties or disincentives and some financial incentives as well. Uh, it will also come out with guidelines on setting up scrapping centres and automated fitness centres across the country. Let's look at some of the disincentives or penalties. Uh, the MORTH is likely to hike the cost of registration renewal. There will also be a green tax on older polluting vehicles, which will be calculated over and above the road tax that you pay, on your, pay in your state. There will be a ban on personal vehicles and commercial vehicles which fail fitness tests after 20 years and 15 years, respectively. Now, let's look at some of the incentives. Well, the MORTH can uh, waive off registration charges for a consumer who is buying a new vehicle and has scrapped his older polluting vehicle. OEMs, vehicle manufacturers, are likely to be asked to pitch in with a 1% to 2% discount as well for customers who come up with a scrapping certificate. Let's look at what the states will be asked to do. Well, the government can request states for a rebate uh, on road tax and they can fall back on revenue collected through green tax. Now, through all these three means, that is registration waiver, road tax reduction and a discount from the OEM, the government is hoping that you would get a discount of 10 to 15% as a scrapping incentive over and above the scrap value of your older polluting vehicle. Let's now wait for the final draft.